Hey, after a excellent first half by the Knicks in which they led 66 to 61. Excellent first half performance, efficient first half performance by young Rowan Barrett, number nine, a.k.a. Sure. Splash Brother, number nine. Three from <laughs> three from downtown in the first half. You had hey. Julius, the playmaker out there, setting his guys up. Mm. Alec Burks showing you what his worth was to this team in just a half. 25 mil. <laughs> it all comes crashing and burning in the second half. Knicks go down in the land of the Hicks jails, 121 to 107. What happened in the second half, man? Where did this thing uh, go astray? Well, let's see. Uh, Julius Randle, um, he was getting worked by Sabonis, like all of our big men. Sabonis got all of our big men in trouble early. Uh, Mitch, two quick fouls. Noel, three in the first quarter. And then we had to slide Julius Randle on Sabonis. And Sabonis got him in foul trouble as well. And with Quickly, who was out at the half of the hip flexor, yep. who contributed to offense being out, combined with Randall being out on offense because he was in foul trouble, the offense began to sputter. And you saw, you know, that the coach, he went with Alec Burks as the point guard coming, um, you know, instead of DSJ and Frank Lakina. And Alex Burks was having a good game, but didn't really – run the offense well it seemed like he had a hard time adjusting from being the off ball guy to the point guard guy and the Knicks never really fully recovered you know what JL said the theme for tonight man was point guard point guard point guard point guard JL mm-hmm. you know you had the ineffective play of Alfred Payton who started tonight Tim yeah. goes with the starting lineup JL of my predicted starting lineup when we did our show back on 1129 Payton RJ Reggie Bullock Randall and Money yeah. Mitch made his yeah. way back into the lineup. But you had an effective point guard yeah. play by Peyton. Mm-hmm. Randall mm-hmm. was able to pick that up, facilitating very well in the first half, give Julius credit. And you had Quickly out there who held it down. I, I thought he was doing okay against McConnell in, in the battle of the backups. Quickly mm-hmm. goes down with the hit pointer. And where to me, the turning point of this game was at the seven-minute mark, we were up by two. 74-72. Julius picks up his fourth foul on Sabonis. Listen, Sabonis is a beast. He was giving everybody yeah, the man. work. He gave Mitch. The, Mitch picked up two ticky tack fouls in the first in the first quarter. I didn't like the second one. Yeah, the second one was bull. It was first <laughs> one. You could argue whatever, but you know Sabonis is going to eat, and and he did just that. But um, you know, back to the point guards. You know, Peyton ineffective, quickly hurt. Now yeah. the next turning point, J. Ellis, was at the four minute forty seven second mark. Yeah, We're down by three, eighty to eighty three. Mm-hmm. Peyton comes out of the game. Randall's out. Where yep. does Tibbs go for a floor general? The Prince. <laughs> no, it wasn't Prince. He goes point guard by committee. It oh, was Alec Frank. Burks. Yes, yes. Alec it Burks. Wasn't at first. DSJ. It was Alec Burks. At in, first, in, yes. In, uh, <laughs> in addition to RJ Barrett in the backcourt. And, you know, it, it, I don't think. It, it, they didn't lose the game there, but it wasn't effective. And I no, think when they, when they put Burks on the ball, it took away his effectiveness in, in terms mm-hmm. of how he was getting after it um, in the first half as, you know, an, an off-ball playmaker, which, again, yeah. he was excellent in the first half. And so Absolutely. I think that dynamic changed. We didn't get the guys involved. The, the shots weren't falling as they were in the first half. The ball wasn't moving as it was in the first half. Exactly. And, um, you know, the Pacers, they grind you down. This was this was a – the team finished fourth in the East. You had McConnell. You had McBuckets out there. Second half, second unit was killing us. Miles Turner looking like, you know, Bill Russell out there, six block shots, turning everything away. Jesus, yeah. And um, and that was it. I, you know, I think the Knicks got tied down the stretch. We needed a, we needed some point guard play. They did bring in Frank. He was ineffective. They did bring in Frank. And, yep. and that was that. That that was that man. So valiant first half effort, but uh, things just completely fell apart in the second half, bro. Yeah, and we we got worn down. Who knows what would have been if quickly was able to play the full game? It might have been a little bit different. I will say this: I do feel like we got better shots when Frank got in the game, but we just weren't hitting them. We just we just weren't hitting them, and the defense suffered as well. Once the once we, you saw the body language change, CP. Once yeah, the shots yeah. stopped falling, the defense fell Everything off the rails changed. with it. Yeah, 
and his the morale just dropped. Everything changed when the shots stopped falling. They lost their whole swag in the second half. Listen, I thought uh, Frank was all right, JLs. I didn't think much of Frank's minutes, to be honest. I saw one where he gets the ball back with four seconds left on the shot clock, and instead of making a move to the basket or making a move for a mid-range, he passes it to Nerlens Noel. I'm like, what is Nerlens Noel supposed to do with that rock? You're the point guard. Mm. You know what I'm saying? New Orleans, the well mm-hmm. can't bail you out. You got to bail a team no, yeah. out in that. But listen. Exactly. I'll take it at that point. Yeah. So, again, I, again, you know, it was a couple minutes for Frank in there. I think the biggest story was with Tibbs, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, who didn't play and who did play. Exactly. Was a pretty good big story for the first game. You know what yeah. I mean? Because instead of going to DSA, going to Frank, they go to Burks. They go yeah. to Burks. And the when Austin trust. Rivers comes back, Jalis, it's going to be even more interesting. Yeah. The trust, the trust is gone for sure. The trust is definitely gone. We don't know. Like It's it's interesting to think, even looking at the minute CP, and I'm not sure if we're still live or not. <laughs> even looking at the minute CP, if you look at the first half minutes, Alfred Payton did start, but Emmanuel quickly, he, he played more minutes than Alfred Payton in the first half. Yeah. And that's telling because you already know what the next move is after that. If, if, if the rookie is already playing more minutes than you in the first half, exactly. eventually quickly will be starting. Peyton, so Peyton look out terrible. for that. Peyton was terrible, man. I, I seen one. He passed up like a three footer to pass it in traffic. His mid ranges weren't were looking like air balls out there. Peyton was terrible, bro. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Hey, hey, hey. 100% for three, CP. 100%, <laughs> yeah, 100% for three. 100% for three. You know, take that for what you will. But. Uh, just, just wasn't getting it done, man. Was was not getting it done. The quickly injury is gonna sting a little bit, and and we'll see. We'll we'll see how long he's out for. You know, I, I think they'll they'll go a little bit conservative with it. Again, he 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 hasn't uh you know had a summer league under his belt or a full training camp under his belt. So Mm-mm. I think they'll be cautious with him. And yeah. and again, we'll we'll see who's gonna be the next man up. Yeah, we will see. We will see who's going to be the next man up. It's funny to say because Austin Rivers is not a traditional point guard as well, so it's going to be interesting yeah. to see kind of what yeah. happens with Alfred Payton, uh, DSJ, Frank, and that whole dynamic of the point guard by committee in that second round. Second second round. Once once Alfred Payton gets benched, which inevitably will happen. <laughs> Let me tell you, man, I was so curious to see how they were going to play this thing, and they went by committee early, JL. Mm-hmm. Early. You had two backups on the bench. And it goes <laughs> to Alec Burks, the point At, guard, you know, whoosh. by accident. As a point guard, that has to screw your confidence, right? Like, yeah. the, the game is on the line. Yeah. It quickly is down. Alfred has to sit. And you're like, all right, I'm about to get I'm in. I'm about to go back to Alex. Burks. <laughs> it's like, he, what? Back to Alex. What? Yeah. Well, listen, Tibbs, agents are being called. Tibbs Call- is letting it be known, man. Only the dogs are going to eat. And like I said, when Austin Rivers gets here, it's going to be even more problems. So uh, if you're Frank or if you're DSJ, you've been put on notice as early as tonight. The, only the dogs will eat. So you got to exactly. step up. And yeah, interesting to see what do you make of Frank being chosen over DSJ after DSJ seemed to be pumped as being yeah. the starting point guard. What well, do you I, mean I think like? I, I think he, he wanted to continue to space it out there. I think he wanted a def- some more defense. I think he wanted mm. some more defense. And Frank came in and McConnell ate him up. And yep. so that didn't really work too well. McBuckets, man, I swear. McBuckets. <laughs> yo, I hate him. McBuckets, man. And he's he a nice dude. Too. <laughs> you know you know why I hate Doug McDermott, bro? Because when we first traded for him, I really thought, you know, we're always looking for answers from the yeah. three-point line. So I'm like, all right, here yeah. we go. McBuckets is about to light it up. He literally had one good game for us, Shales, and that was down in Miami. <laughs> and did nothing for the Knicks. But every time he plays the Knicks, he's always oh. uh, giving Kev the work. He was giving Kev the work tonight, Shales. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, he had some decent games with us. And you know what it was? His his, his synergy with um, Kylo Quinn, it was the, the, the yeah. backdoor duo. That thing was kind of working a little bit. But... You are right. He he wasn't hitting the three point shot at the clip he was before us and after us. So I don't yeah. know what that was about. Agreed, uh, agreed, man. Um, so again, you know, tough loss, but 
encouraged by RJ's play, man. 11 for 15 from the field, Woo! J.O.'s. 3 of 3 from downtown. Only 1 of 2 from the stripe. You know, 2 attempts. But 26 points, 5 dimes, 8 rebounds for RJ. I thought RJ played a patient floor yeah. game as, as it can come. Took the shots when he got to him. You know, took good shots. Took good shots, J.O.'s. Absolutely. Yeah, it seems like the game slowed down. Even though I'm looking at him, he looks like he's playing in slow motion. But he's making all the right reads, and he's getting to the spots he wants to. And he just doesn't seem rushed. He just seems yeah. like the game is coming to him. This season, man, I'm, I'm curious to see how far he's going to take it this season. He, Agreed. I think he's going to take a step, for sure. Agreed. Uh, 17 points, 9 rebounds, 9 dimes for Julius Randle, JLS. I like how Julius started the game off, started looking for his teammates a lot earlier in the game before he yeah. got himself settled. Um, the, the weakness of the pace of defense, JLS, is always the interior. As much as Sabonis is going to drop on you, he can give it right back on the other end. And I like how Julius was aggressive in attacking mm-hmm. the paint, either getting his own shot or driving and kicking. And it was working in that first half. Uh, and that leads me to Burks. You know, Alec Burks, once again, JLS, he showed his worth out there to you in, 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 in that first half. Um, finishing his, it finishes the game with 22 points. 6 of 12 from the field, 2 of 4 from downtown, 8 of 9 from the free throw line, JL. So that was one I love thing I said kid, about man. Burks. He <laughs> finished in the top 25% of the league in terms of shooting foul percentage, and he yep. showed that tonight. He's, you know, he's able to draw the foul, draw the contact, and again, he's, he's a guy, he's going to be a fixture in this rotation. So I thought those were the three bright spots. Quickly did okay in his limited minutes, got hurt, unfortunately, and uh, that was about it. I, I thought... Um, Knox ineffective. How about OB Jails? Three, oh, <laughs> three oh, for 12 oh. from the field. Three of seven from downtown. I'm curious to see what they're doing in practice with OB. Yeah. Because it seems like he's letting them fly during the games. And if he's letting them fly during the games, you would have to think that's you what they're trying practice. to do with him in practice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I mean, maybe he's hanging him in practice. It's not translating yet. That uh, Maybe that's what's happening. But it was he was definitely part of the problem when Randall went down and we went to OB and he started launching even more threes and this was not connecting. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, 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 it was a big problem for the Knicks. Yeah, for sure. um, a big problem. But you, but you did see the two of them in there at the four of the five when we had to go small. You know, Nerlens and Mitchell battling foul trouble all night. Again, the bonus mm-hmm. was giving everybody the work. Uh, so they did have to go small at some points. Didn't like that they had OB shooting seven threes. He's, he's not a three-point shooter. You know, his, his three-point shot has so much arc on it, Jails. So I'm not even sure some of them even dropped. As it's he, the Knox arc, man. Remember yeah, Knox arc? Yeah, Knox arc. So, um, but again, you know, passing was on the money. I thought he was the out there throwing laser filthy. beams. But they, they've got to figure out uh, how to get him involved in the offense. I'm not so sure. he He's getting zero leverage in the post. Absolutely yeah. zero leverage in the post. Couldn't even move Justin Holiday out there. And so, Can't skip leg day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it turns out, man. But, um, you know, Obi had a, a, a interesting night, to, to say the least. Had an interesting night, to say the least. Yeah, definitely interesting night. Yeah. It, yeah. Interesting to see that we had to go small ball for that long. Sure. And, uh, I mean, the good news is we've been small ball and we didn't get blown out. We actually came out on top. So, I mean, at least for that first half. Yeah. I But, I, again, I think this is the team that you could do that against. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think you can get away with it with that team, with this team for sure. 